Hello everybody, back again with another video. Hope you're doing well. Hope your life's going well. Hope this week has gone well for you and I hope that today has gone well for you. Today is Sunday, April the 14th, 2024. It is about 11, 12 a.m. Central Standard Time. And I hope that y'all are having a great weekend. I hope that this weekend has been productive for you. I hope that this weekend has been fun for you. I hope that you're making very good use of the time that you have off this weekend because the weekend is for you to spend your time having fun traveling visiting family friends doing whatever makes you happy so go out this weekend do what makes you happy you know yeah um i'm doing good um Yesterday I went out on a run. I probably go out on a run today at the park after this video as well. Um, but uh, yeah, let's get straight into the topic though. Let's get straight into the topic. I want to talk about um, self-forgiveness. And also before I get into this, I think, yeah, tomorrow is actually April 15th. If you haven't filed your taxes, go ahead and file those taxes. You know, April 15th is the deadline. So, you know, I just want to put that out there before I start. But, yeah, let's talk about self-forgiveness, right? Why is it that we need to self? Why is it that we need to forgive ourselves? Um, there's many reasons. But before I talk about that, let's talk about what is self-forgiveness. And it's somewhat self-explanatory it is pretty much the act of forgiving yourself for something that you did wrong some sort of action some sort of choice that you made in life that would be generally considered wrong or maybe it's something that you personally consider wrong you have to forgive yourself um you don't want to let a mistake just eat at you, right? You don't want to let a mistake just, you know, mentally spiral you down into depression, you know, because that's what can happen if you don't forgive yourself and this is something that, you know, I had to kind of think about, right? Because I wasn't really familiar with the term self-forgiveness. And um, I had to look it up. I had to look up what self-forgiveness was, right? Upon learning that I could have made a better choice in life in the decision that I made when I was in that situation. I struggled. I was like, you know, what's wrong with me? Why couldn't I make that right choice in life? Why did I make the wrong choice? You know, and upon learning about what self-forgiveness actually is I had to learn to forgive myself self-forgiveness is something I had to implement into my life personally and so self-forgiveness you don't want to let a mistake eat at you right it's very important, y'all. When you make a mistake in life, you realize that, okay, you made the wrong choice. Whether it's something that is generally considered as wrong or something, you know, a personal choice that you you made that you feel was wrong, a wrong choice, a wrong route to take in life. Forgive yourself. And what I mean is, like, something that's generally considered as wrong is, say, um, say you... You gossip, right? 
you have to forgive yourself. Well, well, after you've, well, let me rephrase that. You have to accept that, okay, what you did was wrong. You have to admit to yourself that what you did was wrong. And then you have to forgive yourself. Okay, I did wrong, right? I need to assess why I did what I did. But most importantly, you want to forgive yourself. You can't change the past, but you can definitely change the future, right? And that would be something that's generally considered as wrong. But a personal choice that you feel was a wrong choice. Say you... Hmm. Say you didn't check the weather, right? And you work outside and you went outside without a jacket and it was 50 degrees outside, right? Now, you're going to be so cold all day and miserable at work all day and you're going to come home because you pretty much had a bad day because you left your jacket at home and now you were freezing all day. And that can be seen as a personal choice that was wrong. <laughs> but even with that, you have to forgive yourself. You have to, you know, tell yourself, look, I made the wrong choice. I'm a human being. I'm flawed. I make mistakes. But I forgive myself. I'm going to keep moving forward and moving forward, right? I'm going to have to learn to check the weather more because you have to remember any mistake you make is a learning. Um, it's a learning experience. I bet you now that you made the, this mistake. You're for sure going to be checking the weather more. You're for sure going to be making sure that you have a jacket when it's cold outside. Right. And so, you know, that is just one example of you making a personal choice that you would consider as wrong. You know, it's not something that's generally considered as wrong, right? Because there's people that don't wear jackets in 50 degree weather, but you knew that you were going to be cold in 50 degrees. So you needed a jacket and now you ruined your own day because of your own action because you didn't take a jacket and it was 50 degrees outside. So you have to forgive yourself because... Time is going to keep moving forward no matter what. Time doesn't stop because you made a mistake. Time doesn't stop because you made a bad choice in life. Look, I've made decisions that I personally felt weren't the right choice upon looking back. But time keeps moving forward and... A true testament to how you recover from that mistake is what you do going forward. Are you going to keep making that mistake or are you, or are you going to overcome that mistake and keep moving forward and choose the right path moving forward? Are you going to forgive yourself right or, or are you gonna let this spiral you down the path towards depression the path towards needing vices such as tobacco alcohol um, bad food because that's what happens too you don't learn how to forgive yourself all you're gonna do is become depressed you know you're gonna get vices that temporarily make you happy such as like I say tobacco alcohol food and you know because that you know that's what happens with a lot of people a lot of depressed people they they 
they turn to food. Sometimes they turn to alcohol. Sometimes they turn to tobacco to relieve the the anxiety, the depression that comes from making the wrong choice in life. And that's a sign of somebody that hasn't truly forgiven themselves. And that's a sign that somebody has not moved forward in life. They're not, you know, just pushing forward, pushing through the fact that they made that mistake. They are stuck on that mistake and they keep thinking about it. And every time they think about it, what do they do? They go get alcohol. They go get food, tobacco. Um, you know, they do these things that aren't necessarily good in the long run, but they are a temporary um, stress relief, right? Um, even getting high for some people is a way for them to get away from the mistakes that they've made in life. Not for everybody, don't, don't get me wrong, not for everybody, but for some people, that's one of what they feel is their best way of getting away from whatever mistakes that they've made in life. And all this, you know, is going to keep you held back. It's not going to get you through the process of self-forgiveness, right? Um, time's going to keep moving forward. So the longer that you're stuck on whatever mistake you made, right? The longer you will put yourself through suffering mentally, emotionally, spiritually. You didn't forgive yourself. And so now mentally you are suffering. Right. Remember, you made this mistake in the past and you cannot change the past. No matter how much you think about it, no matter how much you want to change the past, you cannot change the past. I hope you all are you are, are really grasping that concept. You can't change the past. So why do you spend so much time harping over this mistake Right, this mistake that you made in the past. You can move forward though. Part of that through self forgiveness. Once you forgive yourself, you can move forward and you are able to make the right choice in the future. You know what the right choice is now because you know the mistake that you made and you know what you should have did right you can dictate how you move forward so why are you stuck in the past why are you stuck on this mistake that you made y'all see what I'm saying why are you so focused on the past that's a sign of somebody that has not forgiven themselves. If they're so stuck on this mistake, oh, you know, depressed, sad about it. Look, you made the mistake. You can't change the past. Why are you so stuck on it? Just think about that, y'all. For example, let's go through an example, right? And this is an example that can be seen as um, pretty bad. Let's say you cheated on your spouse. What you first want to do in the process of self-forgiveness is address why did you do that? Why would you do that? You have to answer that self your, yourself. You have to answer that yourself. Why? Would you cheat on your spouse? And you really want to take.
take a deep dive psychologically as to why you would cheat on your spouse. I mean, do you fall for people really fast? Um, surely you didn't forget that you had a spouse at home, right? You have to address that part of you, you know, is it because your spouse is giving you problems and you just wanted different energy from somebody and you just got carried away? You have to address that. Why did you do that? And then after that, you have to forgive yourself because something serious like that will eat at you if you just keep harping on it. But what you better do is make amends with your significant other if you did something like that. But of course, you have to forgive yourself, too. You know, because something like that. You know, you, you're, um, you just up one night and you're just thinking about that and, and, you know, that can really eat at you and you're just thinking about how bad it was, how big of a mistake that was that you cheated on your spouse. You know, like I say, that that's one of those things where you're up late at night and that's when it really hits you as to how serious that is to do that. Why? Why did you do that? You have to answer that question. Once you answer that question, you can forgive yourself, right? You can forgive yourself and you can be a better man or woman moving forward to your significant other if they decide to stay with you cuz some people they cheat. If you if you cheat on them, they're going to leave you right away. see with this example you're not beating yourself up over it but you're being proactive you know whether you know whether it's going to counseling whether it's talking it out with your significant other you know you have forgiven yourself for this mistake right you cheating you have to because it's going to make you a better man or woman to your significant other. You know, because if you spiral down the path towards depression, all that's going to do is lead you towards being somebody that is, you know, just sad all the time. You know, and no one wants to be around a person that's sad and depressed and negative all the time because oh you know I made this mistake in my life I made that mistake in my life no one wants to be around that kind of negative energy and so I mean if your spouse forgives you you know especially if your spouse forgives you just keep moving forward you know look towards being a better person in the future right don't be stuck on the fact okay you know you cheated i mean you cheated you cheated if your spouse forgives you why why are you not forgiving yourself why are you constantly beating yourself up over this mentally all you can really do is grow from your mistakes right and so if you're unable to forgive yourself then you're pretty much stunting your growth mentally, spiritually, emotionally, right? All these mistakes, right, that you made in the past, it's okay. Forgive yourself. We all make mistakes. We're human beings. We're flawed. We're not perfect. Just remember, we all make mistakes, y'all. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, some mistakes are more serious than others, but process is the same you have to forgive yourself gotta forgive yourself you know if you can't forgive yourself do you love yourself because self-forgiveness is part of loving yourself if you love yourself you would forgive yourself right 
other example, right? I kind of talked about it a bit earlier. You gossip a lot. Gossiping is not a good thing. You know, you gossip about coworkers, which can lead to a hostile work environment. You gossip about family, etc. You're gossiping, right? You've come to the realization that you do this. You should acknowledge and admit that this is what you've been doing. Then you have to forgive yourself. Ask yourself, why do you do this? Is it a character flaw that you have? If it is, it's something that you have to work on. And this is all part of the self-forgiveness, self-healing journey, right? Also, you don't want to worry about whether other people forgive you or not, you know, I mean, I guess depending on who it is, you should care somewhat, but, um, if they don't forgive you, you can't harp on that either because you can't control somebody's response to a mistake that you made that happened to affect them, right? You know, say you, I'm trying to think, what is a mistake that can happen? that can affect other people okay yeah let's say you have a fender bender car accident you know you you run into the back of somebody you know ever so slightly but you still hit them and you mess up their bumper and they're angry they're mad you're apologizing to them you're you're pleading you're begging for their forgiveness and they say they're not going to forgive you. You know, it's somebody that's just so mad at you, right? Okay, if they don't forgive you, then so be it. But you have to forgive yourself that you made the mistake in running into the back of them and messing up their bumper, right? That's something that can affect somebody. But that's something that if they don't forgive you, you can't let that bother you. You have to keep moving forward no matter what, y'all. Can't let can't let that affect you. Most importantly, must forgive yourself. You know, so um like I said before, if you don't forgive yourself, you can go down a dark path full of depression, stress, anxiety. Then you're going to start looking for vices. You don't want to go down that path. That's why you must forgive yourself. Remember every mistake that you've made. You can learn something from it. You can learn something from every mistake that you've made. Part of forgiveness. You know self-forgiveness is owning up and taking action necessary. Necessary to make sure you don't make that same mistake again. I do advocate for seeking help, for example, if you have a major gambling problem. You know, there are resources out there to help you as well as um, resources, you know, whether it's counseling, whether it's, you know, I don't know, alcoholic um, addiction counseling. I forgot what that's called. Is that group called like Alcoholics Anonymous? I think I think that's what it's called. Yeah, I mean, if you're a alcoholic, you know, part of the self forgiveness, self healing journey is getting yourself help because that way you're jump starting the um, opportunity in order to be a better man, a better woman moving forward but anyway y'all that's about it for this video talking about self-forgiveness i really hope that you all um are able to forgive yourself in any mistake that you've made in life and you're able to move forward and you're able to live a happy healthy life forgiving yourself moving forward no matter what that is what is important but yeah 
Thanks for watching. Have a great Sunday. And tune in for another video.